strong. Hey everybody, how's it going? Kim here, welcome back to my channel. Today is a 30 minute circuit strength training workout and I'll be using a variety of dumbbells and a mat. So go ahead, get yourself set up and let's get started. We're gonna start with a quick three minute warm up just to get that body prepped up. So let's get those feet a little bit wider than hip width, inhale the arms up, exhale, bend the knees, sweep the floor with your fingers and reach it up, good. Some nice big movements. Let's go three. Final one. And arms down to the side, reach it to the back wall, come up on your toes, push those hips out and back. Squeeze your glutes. Good, three, two, and one. We're gonna take it to the side and drop it down into a lunge. So we're getting a little bit of a stretch in the quads as we're warming up those legs. Two more. Last one, face front, toes out to the corner, down into a sumo squat. Really pushing those knees back, stretching out the inner thighs. Great job, three more. And final one, now let's take it to the other side and lunge it down. So for today's workout, two circuits to get through. Each circuit has eight exercises. You'll work 30 seconds on with a 10 second rest. We're doing each circuit twice. All right, two more. Final one, good. Let's do some kicks forward. Stretch out those hamstrings. Four, three, two, good, heels up, pull the arms back. Nice work, let's go, six, five, and one, bring the knees all the way up to meet your chest. Nice big stretch in through the glutes. Last one, plant the feet, inhale the arms up, reach it down, touch the floor, and reach it up, arms behind your back, open up that chest, and release, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, arms down, opening the chest, one more time, big breath up, exhale down, reach, get nice and long, and elbows back, let's circle it back for four, three, two, and forward for three, two, and one. Okay, starting this workout, we're gonna do a deadlift and we're gonna do a split stance. So I'm gonna use 20s on my deadlift. Place them down beside you. One foot's gonna be in between those weights. The other foot is back, all right? We're gonna hinge at our hips. So don't just try to drop down, you wanna hinge forward. You've got a slight bend in the knees. We're gonna pick up those weights. All right, and squeeze the glutes at the top. So keeping that back straight, belly button in. We're getting some glute work here and some hamstring. I drop the weight. We're gonna to go to a single weight. We're gonna stay with that right leg forward, left leg back, and we're gonna go into a single arm bent over row. Here we go, row, release. Elbow in beside you, and down. Keep that back straight. Hold at the top, really work it here. those lats, back of the shoulders. Nice work. You got four seconds. 
Good. All right, shake up those legs. We're gonna repeat that on the other side. So we're gonna have the left leg forward this time. And lift, right into that deadlift. Really think about driving the hips forward as you squeeze through the glutes. And release. <sighs> Shake it out. That row on this side. All right, come on down, pick up that weight. Here we go, row. Good, keep that back parallel to itself. So we don't wanna be dropping that shoulder nice and straight. Beautiful job. Both weights in front. We're now gonna go into a basic Romanian deadlift. So weights right in front of your feet. Come down, hinge at the hips, squeeze through the glutes, and come up again, straight back here. All right. You can see I'm pushing my hips back, driving that tailbone behind me, and lifting with a straight back as I squeeze my glutes. Drop the weight. We're gonna go into some underhand rows. So my wrists are now pointing up. We're gonna grab onto those weights, bend the knees, pull the weights right up to belly button level, release. Exhale, and down. And down. Squeeze, good. I'm gonna bring some lighter weights with me. Place them just on your hips. Glute bridge, lift, release. Squeeze at the top and drop it down. Lift. Pushing through the heels of your feet. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Good, all right, bring those weights so they're right at your chest level. Extend your legs up towards the ceiling. Raise your arms, we're gonna open up in a fly and release the legs down into a leg raise, bringing it back. Let's keep our back pressing into the floor. Good. So you're targeting those lower abs and working the chest. Nice work, all right, little rest right here. And then we're gonna take that from the top, all right? So that's circuit number one, and we're repeating. So if you need a little water, now's the time to grab it. We're gonna be starting with that split stance deadlift. All right, and we had our right leg starting out front. We have about 15 seconds. Staying up on the toe, getting ready to hinge in about five. Keep the knees nice and soft. Here we go, hinge it down, grab those weights, and lift.
down. Shake out that front leg. All right, rows on this side. So left arm's gonna pick up that weight. Here we go. Row, release. Elbow tucked in. Good job. Think about holding it there at the top so you're working those lats. And rest. Other side. How you doing? We're getting there. We're gonna be done this first circuit before you know it. All right, hinge it down. Here we go, lift. Shake it out, lat row. All right, pick it up with your right hand. Here we go, rope. Nice job. Place them down in front of you. Romanian deadlift. Hinge it forward, pick up the weight, squeeze at the top. Good, keep those weights close to your thighs. As you come down with a straight back, then pop it up and squeeze. This one's working your glutes. Making them nice and strong. Lower it down. Remember, we're flipping those hands, so wrist pointing up. Here we go, underhand rows. Squeeze it right up to your belly. Squeeze and hold at the top, release. Let's lower those weights, pick up your later set. If you're using one set, just grab, grab those weights and bring it on down. All right, on the hips, here we go, glute bridge. Trying to get those hips as high as you can. Rest it, weights at your chest level, legs up. Lift those weights, elbows out to the corner. Press that back into the floor. Here we go, lower and back to center. That's it, circuit one is done. Grab your water, we're moving on to the second circuit. All right. Whew, little rest here. Catch your breath. How are you doing? 
All right, so we're gonna be starting with some curtsy lunges. I'm gonna go down to 15s just because we're gonna go curtsy lunge and then right into some bicep curls. So we're gonna curtsy lunge on one side. We're gonna take our left leg behind our right, hips are gonna stay forward, and we're just gonna stay in that lunge position and do stationary lunges, all right? So here we go, down behind, drop the knee. Good, staying right here. So directional change for our glutes. Bend those knees, come me tight. Five. Step it up, roll those wrists pointing forward towards me. Tuck the elbows in, we're gonna go into some bicep curls. Slight bend into your knees, here we go, lift. Slowly take it down. Good, let gravity work against you. So it makes it a little bit harder. Lift, and then nice and slow on the way down. One count up, one, and then three, two, one. Lift, three, two, one. Good. Lift. Okay, we're gonna do a curtsy lunge on the other side. Then we'll drop on weight. We're gonna do some overhead triceps. There we go. Lunge it and down and up. Focus on keeping those hips pointing forward. So don't roll it back. All right, drive those hips in front. Nice job. All right, place weights down just for a second. We're gonna pick up one. We're gonna take it overhead, pull those elbows forward, and drive that weight behind our head. All right, here we go. So we're tricep right here. Overhead extension. Nice and strong through your core. Your knees are slightly bent. Good job, four. Place the weights in front of you. In between your thighs, we're gonna take those toes out to the corner. We're gonna come into a sumo squat and we're gonna clean and press. So, clean and press. Good, sumo squat. So you just pull, push. Good. Butt back in that squat. Keep those knees pushing behind. So you don't wanna roll those knees in. You wanna keep them popped out to the side. Lift. Drop it down. Some Arnold presses. You might want to lighten up if you are on a little bit heavier weight. But let's get those elbows tucked in. Turn and press it up. Working the shoulders. Bring those elbows in. Rotate, palms facing out, palms facing in. Exhale. Inhale. Yes. You've got it. Seven seconds. We're going to be hitting the floor. Good. Bring one weight with you. We're going to do a weighted sit up. You can stay in a crunch if you prefer. So you're just holding that weight at your chest. You're either going to crunch or roll and press. All right, the crunch is right here. So you're just keeping that low back on the floor. Or you can come all the way up. Exhale. Inhale, slowly roll it down if you're coming all the way up. Really make those abdominal muscles work on the eccentric part of this movement. And lower the weight. Bicycles. 
So bicycles are great for getting every part of the abdominals. We're adding a twist. Here we go. Shoulder to knee. Let's take it nice and slow. Make the abs work for it. Last exercise of this circuit. We gotta repeat it one more time. That's it. We're almost done. Time flies when you're having fun. Good job. All right, bring it up. Starting from the top. So we're gonna go back into those curtsy lunges. Left leg's gonna be behind, just holding on to the dumbbells. Here's your 30 second rest. Grab some water if you need to. Get. So if you have options to go heavier on your weights, this is the workout to do it. All right, we're only working 30 seconds. Okay, we're gonna take that leg back. So let's pick up those weights. Get that left leg behind you. Pivot those hips forward, up on the toe on that back foot. And then we're just gonna drop down into a lunge right here. Nice. You're doing great. 20 seconds. We got bicep curls coming up after this. Four, three, step it up. Turn those wrists towards me. Tuck the elbows in, shoulders are rolled back and down. Remember that one count up, one and then three, two, one, lift. Exhale. Building strong biceps. Lift, 10 seconds. Drop it down. Okay, we're gonna do curtsy lunges on the other side. Pick up your weights. Get that right leg behind. Here we go, drop it and lift. Keep breathing. Nice, strong muscles. So everything is supported and working right now. Drop one weight. Preparing for that overhead tricep extension. So holding on to that weight with one, both hands, elbows forward. We're gonna drop it behind the head, extend it up. You could go a little heavier, just for ease. I'm not switching, I've got a 15 right now. I could go up 20, 25, 30. So challenge yourself if you've got the option and you're ready for it. Good. Weights in front, toes out to the corner, getting ready for that sumo. Breathe with a clean and press. So watch those knees don't go in. Keep them out. Here we go. Down, pressing up. Good. Squat, lift. Two more, three more exercises after this one. Got our Arnold presses coming up. Working those shoulders. Drop it down. Check out those arms. Nice deep breath in. All right, pick up the weight. Wrist pointing in. Turn, rotate, press it up. Two, and 
friend. Come on down to the floor. Bring one weight with you. Weighted sit-ups. Grab that weight right at your chest. Here it is. Press it up. Working some chest muscles here. We're also doing some shoulder. And of course, our abdominal muscles, rectus abdominis, your six pack muscles. <laughs> Drop that weight. Final exercise, bicycles. All right, knees at 90, back pressing into the ground. Hands by your ears. Here we go. Don't rush it, take it slow. The slower you work here, the harder you're making those muscles work. All right, slow and controlled. You're almost done. We're gonna do a three minute quick stretch to finish off the day. Good job, all right. From here, let's just take those feet to the floor. Drop your knees to one side. Keep those shoulders on the ground. Little spinal rotation here for the low back. Get into the glutes. Good, take it over to the other side. Roll it back to center, bringing our heels together. We're gonna place our hands around our feet and just open up those inner thighs. And releasing, we're gonna roll up. Now take one leg, cross it behind you. The other leg's gonna be in front. We're gonna come down onto our elbows, push our hips up. So we're getting into the hip flexor and the quad on this one. And you can just relax your head, let it go. So whether you did this first thing in the morning, getting yourself ready for work or at the end of your day, we got it done in 30 minutes. You got a full body workout. yourself a second right here to just really enjoy these stretches Great job. Sit up nice and tall. Feet are in front of you, toes pointing towards you. Inhale the arms, reach it. Get nice and tall through that spine. Reach those arms forward, either on your shins or your toes. Pull the toes towards you. Let's get into the calf muscles there. Sit it up. Let's cross one foot over the other. So you want that foot right around where the knee is. Take your left hand, wrap it around that right knee, pull your knee towards you, sit up nice and tall. And we're gonna turn ourselves towards that right shoulder and look behind us. So glute stretch, but a nice spinal twist as well. Bring it to center. Let's do the other side. Wrap that arm around your knees. Sit up tall. Inhale the arm up. Exhale it down behind your back. And there it is. All right. Let's sit cross-legged, take a nice deep breath, reach it up, 
Exhale the arms down. You did so good. Thanks again so much for joining me. If you're new here, think about subscribing. I'm putting out workouts every week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Stay safe, guys. I will see you on the next workout.